It is February 14, 2019, and the police have gotten a call from a woman that said there were screams coming from the neighbor's house. She didn't see anyone, but could see a shadow of what looked like a man leaving the house and getting into a car. We have the two police officers and two forensic investigators here to talk about the scene. First off, the most important thing is to follow the protocols. We don't want any evidence to be lost, and we want to make sure we can get the story right. Our first priority is the safety of all individuals, and our second is to preserve evidence. There were two witnesses, the woman who called the police and someone who was said to be walking their dog down the street. We made sure to separate them so they don't share what they saw and so we could get authentic evidence from both of them. Our responsibility is to protect everything and everyone. If we had anyone visit the scene, we kept a log with their name just in case as well. Okay, so what happened when you got into the house? We entered the house but the front door was still closed and locked with no sign of break-in. However, the back door was open, with the key still in the knob. The door opened to the kitchen. There were a few things knocked over, and the stand with the knives was on the ground, with the biggest one missing. Then we worked our way up the stairs and found the victim's bedroom, and that's where the victim was. She was lying on the bed, and she was stabbed three times in the heart. Now that we know the general scene, we called in forensics examiners to look at the scene. So let's talk with the two examiners. The next step is to take photos of the scene. We use triangulation, which is where you use stationary objects and make a triangle-like pattern with photos to give the location of the evidence. We created a sketch of the scene, making sure to mark important evidence. The last thing to do is collect the evidence. We made sure we handled it carefully and put it into airtight bags with labels. We then made an evidence log with everything we had found and put it in bags. Throughout the house, we saw multiple frames on the floor of photos of what seemed to be a man and a woman. There was a frame we saw that had the date 2 16 which is Valentine's Day, but it was broken and ripped. Same with all the rest of the photos through the house. We went upstairs to the scene and began to analyze the blood spatter. We noticed that by cast-off stains located around the room, that the unsub was definitely enraged because of high-velocity patterns of the drops. There was also different drops around the body, which was from an arterial spurt, which means an artery was broken and probably the most likely cause of her death. We then searched more of the room and found passive drops on the floor as if he stood over her body at the end of the bed with the bloody knife for a long period of time. He must have started to hear people coming outside their houses from the commotion he was causing because... We then found a swipe from the knife across the wall as if he was in a hurry, and then a transfer pattern was found on the bed from the knife, but before he left, he must have realized he shouldn't leave the evidence behind, so he took it with him. We don't know exactly who, but we can use profiling to get get a good idea and narrow down our options. The neighbor and the person walking their dog said it was a male who got into the car after they heard screams. The back door was open with the keys, so the unsub must have had a key with them. They could be a past boyfriend, husband, brother, or even dad. They went into the kitchen and knocked over the stand and tore apart every frame with the photos of a woman and man. And even tore apart the frame with the, t- with the date 2 16 in it. This could be a significant date that the woman that was killed and the unknown boyfriend or husband possibly an anniversary or a special day between the two. The woman was stabbed three times in the heart. Since it has been exactly three years since the date on the photo in the frame, this could mean that the unsub is jealous that the victim is with the new man. The unsub was probably a past boyfriend or husband that still has a key with them and stabbed her three times because it has been three years since the date she began to be with her current boyfriend or husband. It is kind of like payback's revenge as she broke his heart for three years so now he will break hers.